I wanted to add in a little um, bit about the updated hypertension guidelines that have uh, recently just come out here at the end of 2017, uh, just to make sure um, folks taking the, the BCPS in, in 2018 and beyond are, are aware of, of these uh, changes um, should the, the question uh, come up uh, on your exam. So I'm going to run through that. Uh, this uh, brief lecture will be a part uh, of um, the MedEd 101 BCPS Pharmacotherapy webinar. So you can find that at meded101.com slash bcps dash study dash material. And it should be the, the first thing that, that comes up there. So just a little uh, update there as well. Uh, so with the, the newer guidelines, um, to put it very, very simply, uh, we've gone back to a little more um, strict control on blood pressure compared to JNC8. So AHA and ACC, um, they've now classified elevated uh, blood pressure as the systolic being 120 to 129. Uh, this doesn't necessarily we mean we begin pharmacotherapy here. Um, so it's important to assess patients and really um, give them a little bit of a warning that, you know, yeah, blood pressure's, you know, starting to creep up there. You know, I, I'd really like to um, get some lifestyle things on board, uh, make some changes that way so we don't have to um, get to the point of, of adding medication. So I think that's kind of a, a warning um, to patients like, you know what, let's make some changes now. And, uh, you know, hopefully we don't have to, to add medications in, in the future. So the, the JNC8 cutoffs were 140 over 90 and, and 150 over 94 um, elderly um, without higher risk d disease states, you know, like CKD and diabetes and things like that. Um, the newer updates, uh, again, kind of lower that tr threshold. Uh, for pharmacotherapy and for higher risk patients now we're going to target a goal blood pressure of uh, less than 130 systolic so um, yeah I'll break that down a little bit further here so in the new recommendations the uh, stage 1 hypertension hypertension patient um, will fall between 130 and 139 or 80 over 89 um, any patient, you know, automatically uh, above, you know, 140 over 90, um, pharmacotherapy is uh, likely going to be um, recommended in, in that situation. There's also a little bit more of an emphasis in the, the newer guidelines on home blood pressure monitoring. Um, so, so keep that in mind as well. You know, that's, you know, not too much related to the, the pharmacotherapy, but just wanted you to, to be aware of that, that that um, is a, um, an emphasized point on the, the newer guidelines here as well. So in, in patients who are at higher risk for problems due to, to hypertension, so they've, maybe they've had a cardiovascular event, a heart attack, a stroke in the past, uh, diabetes, CKD, we're going to target... Um, to get them down to less than 130 uh, over 80. That's what we're going to shoot for uh, with the, the newer guidelines. So again, a little more strict um, the, than JNC8. Uh, so diabetes, CKD, those are always kind of the classic examples. Um, but there's also, uh, they, they brought in the risk stratification. So if you've got a, a patient greater than 10% ASC, ASCVD 10-year risk, um, those patients we want to be more aggressive with uh, as well there. So, you know, kind of classic examples of patients that, that may be at higher risk. So if statin therapy is indicated, if they're uh, smokers, um, if aspirin therapy is, is indicated um, in, in patients, those are kind of other... Um, compelling indications that might indicate to you just by looking at their medication list that maybe they are um, at higher risk, 10-year uh, risk for ASCVD. 
So just keep that in mind as you're you know looking at a patient and reviewing them, rather than actually doing the the full blown assessment, um, which you know certainly that that is important if you're unsure. Um, that CV risk calculator, I've got the link on there. You can go check that out and kind of see what factors um, play into calculating uh, that that 10-year risk uh, scoring. But those patients, if they're at that higher risk, um, definitely would fall under the um, more aggressive uh, targeting that, that goal of less than 130 over 80, uh, as well as CKD, diabetes, and you know, in the event that they've they've had a stroke, heart attack, or something like that as well. Always got to remember clinical factors uh, in, you know, working with hypertension. So, you know, is there diminished life expectancy? Are they um, very elderly? Are they at high risk for, for falls and, and orthostasis? Um, are they on other medications that could contribute to hypertension? So as a pharmacist, it's critical that, that we look at that. And then, of course, you know, medical causes as, as well um, is always something to think about, you know, such as sleep apnea and other things going on. So just wanted you to, to provide a, a brief update um, for those who have, uh, you know, purchased the, the pharmacotherapy a review course from from my website. Um, also give a, a little free sample uh, to my YouTube followers and, and blog followers as well. So again, meded101.com, uh, lots of different uh, test prep materials. Uh, feel free to, feel free to uh, uh, go check it out, and, and thanks for watching.